Climb it in. Yeah, so I've got this car for um, a video blog. Oh yeah. And so I'm going to run it up to 50,000 miles. Yeah. And then I'm going to try and visit all the Honda dealers because that's what this is, is a Honda. It's a Honda E it's called. Is it electric? Yeah. Nice. Um, I'm going to try and run it to all the Honda dealers and up to 50,000 miles. And so it's just for a video blog basically. That's so cool. What, like, so do you hope you get money if, from it? Well we're trying to, it's got to pay its way because it costs a fortune. So it's got to pay its its way in some shape or form. Now I'm just trying to connect to Apple CarPlay to show you, but it doesn't work anymore. It's gone wrong. So a bit of a shame. what are you going to do when you've done with this car? Uh, sell it. But is it a good car? Or does it cost loads? It costs loads of money, um, and not only that, it'll be a long, long time. This car's so cool, though. Why do you have to sell Jacob, it? There's no mirrors on the sides. The I know. Mirrors left and right, and that's it. That is amazing. <laughs> but the only problem is, why is that comped out? Smash the mirror off. True. This is this is so cool. It's like a spy base. Mm. It is a bit like that, isn't it? Yeah. No, look, look up. You can pull that thing and then you can see out. What? This car is so cool. No, if, if, if I saw this car, I wouldn't know it had all these features in it. Honda it, personal it, assistant really cool. does not have a data connection. Please try again in an aerial. That voice sounds like a granny for some reason. It doesn't. No, on the outside, it doesn't look like it'll be like as good on the inside, does it, Jacob? No. On the outside, it looks like an old banger. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It looks you know, in the dark just now. It looked quite old, like an old car. But in the inside, it looks electric and stuff. There's a mode called aquarium, but it only works when you stop. But... Do you love this car, Daddy? Yeah, it's good fun. That's for it's sure. Really good fun. But we, will we have it for a while? Yeah, probably a year and a half. Yes. That's good then. Is your old car just going to be sitting there? Oh no, this will be used not all the time. Gee, you imagine connecting the switch to that then? Mm hmm. Because you need to not damage this as well, don't you? Yeah. You think you're funny, don't you? Lime green, I suppose. Oh, look at that new car. Oh, look at that. That's nice. It is green. That's terrible acting. Uh, the back door is a lot more Zoe. That's good then. So you've got this little flap here, look. You see? Yeah, um, but... Does that actually open the door? Not now. Oh, it will, because it's unlocked with my keys near it. That's quite good. And so these, look, pop out. And then you've got um, a little courtesy light in there. I like the uh, modern look. You like the modern look? Not only that, so I showed this earlier. Oh, look at that. That's better. Excellent. There you go, so... You got type two, and then if you want to wrap it, use that bit as well. And it's got a light, and then it goes blue when it's charging, but it lights up the Honda thing. Question I've had, which I won't find out yet, is what happens when it's snowing and it fills this up? Yes. I don't know, it's the answer. I think it's got a drain away down there, that rubber flap. Yeah, that's a bit. What do you do just then? It locks itself because it hasn't been opened. Right. So the door handles have gone back in. What's this bit here for? That's to do with all that sensor and stuff on the front. Ah, right, okay. Right then. Good to know. There we are. One's getting in the front, good. It really doesn't fit. It sounds a bit dropped. Your door doesn't fit, apparently. Yeah, door doesn't fit. What <laughs> she doesn't realise is that the window drops down because they've got no ah, frame right, okay. around them. Right. So the frameless doors. Oh, yeah. Honda bag. Honda bag. Freak. Honda bag. <laughs> Get it? Honda bag. You yeah, have a wunderbar, is it? Wunder, wunder, wonderful mean, in German. Wunderbar. Wunderbar, that's it. And then you've got. Oh! Scary, isn't it? And then this is actually a screen as well, um, which you have to pull down, and it's a screen. Ah, good idea. But it's an actual mirror, is it? Ready? Yeah, Ma that, this is magic now, ready? That is a mirror. Now that is a mirror. <laughs> is it? Yeah, you no, know, you can have an argument about whether it's mirror or not. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm saying, is it? See me. <laughs> right. Uh, it's showing that I haven't got a seatbelt and, Mother, you have not got your seatbelt on. Yeah, I don't want them on. Uh, for safety, please, could you... Um, we should have one of those, like, cabin crew things going on, shouldn't we? Yeah, 
Yeah. It matches the uh, 1970s finish. What's the boot capacity like? And then you put it uh, very, very small. Ah, good. It's all green. Excellent. I can put it into drive now. Might put it into reverse though. So we're now into reverse. Check your surroundings. Very dirty rear camera. It'd be interesting actually. Where's the 3D? There we go. So you've got all around camera. You see the idea except it's very dirty, the back one. The hedge. It's funny how they got these things and they made these things look like mirrors. Yes. They have. Need to put the auto wipers on. So it's also got um, auto lights. Yes. So it will dip when it sees a car coming. Dip. And it go back up again when it's dark. Yeah, but they, dark. presumably also they automatically come on when it gets dark as well. They do. Is this all touch sensitive? It is. That's for the passenger to work with, presumably. Is yeah, so you can bring it across. So you can, well, I can send it over to you if you want as well. Oh, hello. So, yeah. It's pretty nice. Isn't that in the way, though, that, all that no. stuff, though? Only very short. So when Amy got in, <laughs> rather than being there, her head was, like, here. And so she's looking at that mostly. Yeah. But, but you can adjust, yeah. I bet you can adjust the height of the seat. Not really. Any much higher than that, no. This one's not adjustable. Passenger mine is. And I'm at its highest already. Are you? I am. Good. There we go. Right, should we head off? Yes. Yes. I don't want We're to be filmed. I've not given my permission to be filmed. <laughs> Too late. So these windows are tinted then, aren't they? Uh, the back ones, yeah. yeah. It's got privacy glass in the, the very rear and the sides. Wow. But it can give out its own Wi-Fi hotspot. It's got HDMI in, so down here you've got two USBs, a HDMI, and can you see it? Three pin block socket. Oh. Up to 1,500 watts. Yes. And two cigarette lighter style things that we call cigarette lighter things, up to ones up to 160 watts as well. The three pin socket is up to one and a half kilowatts. Yeah. Because what I was going to do, but I don't think I can do it, is use the granny charger for Amy's car and see if I can charge her car with it, which obviously would be incredibly slow. Well, that's a very good idea. But you could almost get a mile out of it, for instance. If you're stuck a mile away from home, I could drive out in this and just plug it in. How does that restrict the output to one and a half kilowatts, I wonder? Oh, we don't know. You need to speak to a Honda technician. Because yeah. obviously your charger for your car would normally use more than one and a half kilowatts. Okay, Honda. How does the three-pin plug limit uh, output? I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Okay. Could you say that again? That again? But that costs money, that assistance. I've got 40 days to cancel it, so I'll cancel it because oh, it's terrible. Right. What is it asking Honda questions? Oh, so you can say... Um, Okay, Honda, give me directions to London. Here are directions to London. You say go, or you can not bother. There you are, you see. Yeah, you can go charge to London. No, I just can't cancel it. It's rubbish. So if you try and put your own home address in, in the way and the format that they're expecting you to, it doesn't work. So, uh, idiosyncrasies, is it? When you say heart's green, it doesn't know how to spell it. Oh, and you've got one pedal drive as well, so you can press this button here, picture of a boot. And now it's one pedal, so if I let go and touch nothing at all, I need to use the accelerator, it'll come to a stop. I see. And it'll come to a faster stop if there's a car in front, because it'll see a car here, it'll show you a car. And then you can tether the, tether? Feather the, um, your accelerator to brake. So now I'm braking, but not pressing the brake. It is. Oh, and it'll park itself as well. It's got two different types of parking, parallel, or the other one that isn't parallel, where you go back into it. I've reverse, tried, tried, reverse parking. that's it, yeah. I tried it last night, the parallel, and it seems completely hopeless, just like the Turan that Amy had, that you'd have to drive it about four miles an hour for down the street whilst people are behind you. They follow you so closely because you're going so slow, because you take so long to actually do this automatic parking. Then they're right up behind you, and then suddenly you put your brakes on because it says, oh, there's a parking space you'll fit into. Then they're right behind you, and the whole lot needs to reverse back up. So it's a bit of a waste of time. It must make the other people's driving the circumstances. It is, but it's so unnaturally slow. Wow, it's going some speed. It's so unnaturally slow um, that people think, what on earth are you doing? Hmm. So this is on one pedal driving now. So I'm not holding this car still. It's doing it.
should have written, should have written her a note before yeah. you left. If I put the steering on now, so this, these thing, you're looking for two white lines, which you might not find because we go too slow, I think. Well, there aren't any on the left anyway. Uh, and then you put on adaptive cruise control as well, so you set it. Oh dear. And it takes off one pedal driving when you put on that. There we go, so now it's so now. It's more like it's making a crash, so you think. So now it's got to the left and right, and it's tracking the car in front. It's not using white lines, it's using white lines. It's using them on the left. right. Yeah. Doesn't need two then. It does really, because it can't handle this very well, especially if you increase the speed. So what now. we come up this corner? Well, it, I don't, it might follow it. It it's is. Been, yeah, it's, it's, not, right. it's not me doing it, so it's doing it. Oh, it's putting your right brakes on, isn't it? It is, because it's adaptive cruise control. So it's keeping a set distance for the white car. It won't do this S bend here. I wonder. <laughs> Definitely not. You don't want that. So it's braking it, so I'm not doing anything on the pedals at all. It's doing all the braking, so now it's lost the things in it. But that little yeah. picture, the one at the bottom is you, is it? The one at the bottom is me, the one at the yeah. front is that car in front. So Which, by the way, it's following. So if I'm steering now, it's doing with the accelerator and the braking. As long as I'm steering, it's doing it. That car at the bottom looks like it's got its brake lights on. The car at the bottom, it will do. No, so it's the side light. Now it's brake yeah, lights. Yeah, now it's brake lights, yeah. And now it's just normal side lights. So in a minute it'll break again. But then I can I can change the distance now, so I'm not touching the pedals at all. Mm. Now I can change the distance down to real close or real far. So now it's putting the brakes on. Because if you were driving yourself, you'd probably hardly use the brakes, wouldn't you? You just drop back by like, well, taking foot the accelerator. To be clear, it's using regeneration. Oh. As you can see here, which is power. Charge. Yeah, but are the brake lights coming on for the people behind? Yes. yes. It's showing you there what it's yeah. doing. Yeah, so if I turn the lights on now, um, so this might lose sight of this car as it goes left. No, no, there you go. Oh, it disappeared. Yeah, because it went off at 90 degrees. <laughs> then it will try and speed up, and then it sees the car again. Yeah, by the way, it's a good job that it doesn't see the car, that car disappearing and then accelerate straight across the road. It won't just steer it. Yeah, before it was steering, steering very hard on it, you'd let go of something, it would take you across the road. Yeah, don't ever let go of steering wheels, I think it's probably the rule, isn't it? Yeah. But that's how far it sees it. It's incredible, isn't it? It's a long way away, it's seeing that car. Yeah. So then I, I can get it closer. Closer and closer and closer, and this will be it'll go join up with that car now. But it'll just track it to whatever that's doing. Which I was following someone today, and they were just accelerating, stopping, accelerating, stopping, but it didn't bother me anymore. I wasn't constantly going off, for goodness sake. Oh, he's going there. I'll be interested to see what he does. I'll cover the brake, but it's braking look, on its own. There you go. Now I'm accelerating. Which is nothing that special about his car, I don't think. His adaptive cruise control has been around for ages, isn't it? It's quite a comfortable ride, isn't it? Yeah, so that. That bump in your road, on the concrete road, where you've got a, a lift up, yeah. that handles this quite well. This handles that quite well. But the weight distribution of this is supposed to be 50-50. I think it's got a minimum speed, but I'm not 100% sure. See, so now it's cut in now, that. Well, minimum speed to pick up the lights. Yeah, because expecting you to use it on the motorway. Well, in, in fact, so much so, it's like seeing what it's going to do here. But it did it. I didn't do anything. What's that? I don't know. Now it's let go. Uh, that is because it's thought it was going to go out of lane. Uh, so when you're um, driving on the motorway and it's working like it's designed to, mm -hmm. it does take you around corners, does it? Yeah, so it's, it's gentle arcs, isn't it? It's not really sharp things on motorways, is it? It doesn't touch the speed limit, so it says we're in national speed oh, limit. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, the, the sort of floor is quite high, isn't it? Yeah. Because the battery's under there, I presume. Yeah. And then you've got heated seats, look. Oh, yeah. All heated, all just in the front. No, just front. Yeah. And then so now it's connected to, well it's weird because you go to all the apps, don't think. What's the room like in the front? Well, you've got your seat for all those All right, yeah, good. There you go, look, so that's, you can have a nice picture. Mm. Thank you. Very relaxing, isn't it? Yeah. Why well, do you lift your bum for the seat? Does that picture go full? Oh dear. Or is it miss out a blank bit there? It's going to miss out a blank bit, isn't it? Oh no, it's full. Good, isn't it? Mm. It not about me. You see? The same day I got my papers, Elaine told me she was... You get that Tesla Model 3s. Oh, do you? Thank Condensation. You. Nah, not made proper, is it? Right. Oh, granny cable. The nail it. Oh, right. Granny. Could you get the granny cable out? Yeah. Hey. Granny. That's the boot space, look. Very small. It's all right, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can't fit a husky in there. No, that's true. Good job, really. Okay. There we are. Where is your husky? It works. Excellent. At home. Uh, you're going to sort it all out and pay for the electric. You'll pay for the See it. One thing to remember is you never plug in.
for extension lead, remember? Is it in? Uh, you fully unravel it, because they get very, very hot well, you said I if you leave them wrapped up. I was fully unraveling it just now, so it made no sense. Oh look, let's have a look what happens. Any faults? Any power? There's yes. Click in here. What percentage were we at? Thir what percentage was I at? 48. Oh, it's gone red. What's that sign of? Uh, bad. Red's bad, isn't it? I don't know. I don't think red equals go. Well, it says power, but it's not charging. Bad. What's that, I wonder? Who knows? Should we, uh, should we unplug it and then plug it in again? Yeah. It was flashing on and off when you first did it. I don't think it's going to work. No. Oh. That's it. That's charging. And it says charging on there. I don't know. I had a funny, funny it's 10 pulse, seconds. It was pulsing. Is that yeah, it's like charging. Yeah. And it says charging on there. Very good. How many days, I wonder, until it's charged? Does it show that? Uh, 11 hours. Uh, it's 45%, so it's a day to charge it, basically, isn't it? It's a day on a granny charger. With an extension lead, is that Yeah, with an extension lead. Yeah, does that actually make a difference? Oh, the extension, you'll slow it down even more. Yeah, you just get some losses, don't you, along the lead. But anyway, better than nothing, so... I'll only be here in an hour or two. Okay. Look at that. Lovely and bright. You can see what you're doing. That is so convenient. I have to say, and now I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, but I can. There's a door handle's here. Uh, it's all off. How warm's that? Not warm at all. That's pretty good. Unplug that. Take out the old. Oh, I've got to press the button on the side. Which is there. Unplug that. Oh, that goes nice and bright. Oh, look at that. Didn't even notice it. It's got a little picture of a car on there. 65%. And I'm going. Quite a long time after, about three hours or something later, but 65%, let's head off. On the, this uh, don't put your feet on is the seats. Amazing. Wait, wait, wait. It's amazing, is it? Please, can you shut my door? You need to grab your door and put it in. Can't expect. Oh, what's that noise? It's your car. It's just like a really updated car. It's an updated car, isn't it? That's oh, really so weird. Oh, look, look, look. on them? Oh, it's yeah. Cool. What? You can what's see that? what's going on. Can you? The mirror. Joel, seatbelt on, mate. They're mirrors, are they? Yes. <laughs> but on the outside, <laughs> this car looks old fashioned, doesn't it? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Listen to it. Oh, look, look, Joel. It's got music, hasn't it? Go, look. This sort of makes a funny noise, haven't it, reverses? Look, Joel. Yeah. I want you to keep this. Do you? Why are you going to sell it? Yes, I got it. You haven't really got to. You actually Whoa. get to sell it. <laughs> Why would you want to sell this? That's right. What? You want to think I should keep it, do you? Yeah. Oh. Go on. What do you think of it? Epic. <laughs> Epic? Yes. You like it, do you? You've got to keep it. What? Please. What's good about it? Everything. Everything is good about it. Yeah. The only problem is mm. that your other seat has more seats. It does. Good point, Joel. That's one thing you've noticed, isn't it? Mm. Now, you know Daddy always be silly and says that the car's driving itself, this one can actually drive itself a little bit. What? It can. Can it really? Yeah. The car's steering itself now, look. Ready? What? So it's steering itself. You see? Oh. You know you're holding it. You can say that. Because that's years of conditioning to say that I was holding it. But it actually does steer itself. Are you holding it with one hand? Yeah, you have to. Flashes a light otherwise. So when it's got the green lines either side, and the white and green, it means it's seeing the lines itself. And also the headlights dip up and down on their own as well. Mm. You so see? You're putting your foot down though to make it drive the light. I don't need to though, because I can turn something else on called adaptive cruise control and it will speed up and down on its own. Mm. What? Yeah. It's the future, you know. When well, you're driving. It's got lights up here, look, Ruby. It has. Mm. Whoa! It's like a spaceship, isn't it? Yes! 
Too much back a bit. Oh, <laughs> look at these cool cup holders, they're good, aren't they? Quite squishy. And look, look at that. It's cup a bit of a cup holder. Put the music on, please. Can we do Little Donkey? Well, little all I want for Christmas is you. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, thanks, darling. I mean the song of it. Oh, I thought you just wanted me for Christmas. So. Look, the seatbelts will not really easily put these seatbelts on. Yeah. Literally, that's. So, what do you think of the car? Cool. Very, very good. What can we say? What else can we say about this? Not a lot, I don't think now. Epic. Epic. Amazing. Amazing. Maybe have a go cool. seeing in the front a little bit because I haven't really. One day, I suspect. That. Not right now, but what we'll do is we'll get out the car and I'll oh, show you. Those bits and those bits you put those in there, you can put things in there. What's that? That is a, a partition nut. See that you can press that, pull it out, and you can make it a different size. What? What's that telling me? Oh, it's telling me you've got out the back seat, look. Uh, Shall I show you how the how the uh, charge port opens? Shall I show yeah. you that? You ready? Mm -hmm. oh, 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 oh. It has a picture of it, isn't it? Wait, is that, is that the engine? That's Honda, yeah. That's the logo for Honda. Honda. And then you engine? plug it in, it goes blue. Oh! Let's open this top one up. You only need to open the top one up. And then we slot that in there. And you watch what it does. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's the same charger as last time, isn't it? Yeah. But is it I use it to charge my Zoe, and that's the same cable. Ooh. Same cable. 